Hi everyone, Sonia here, and you are watching Pouring with Sonia. And I recently became an affiliate for Sheely Art so that I could share some more detailed recipes about how I mix up my pouring mediums, my cell activators, how I mix up my paint, so that um, when doing the bloom technique, you know, you can create some fun pieces like this one. Uh, I did when I came back from vacation. I've been gone for not really made any videos for like a month now. So um, three weeks vacation was great, but now I'm back um, making art again. I made some for my mom, and now I get to start creating some of this stuff and share with you. I didn't want to um, give out any detailed information before I became an affiliate because Sheely Art, Sheely Carruthers, created a wonderful e-course, which I took. And I highly recommend it. Even though I'm giving out information for the U.S. products, the Facebook group alone is worth every penny because that's where we all share. It's like this beautiful synergy of artists sharing information together. What works? What doesn't work? What are you having problems with? Um, and just inspiring one another with really cool techniques um, within using this um, stuff, the pouring medium and cell activator. But... Here I am. I want to show you how I mix up my pouring mediums today. Um, the pouring mediums I mix up by weight and not volume. The cell activator I mixed up by volume and not weight. So, and then the paints themselves that I'm going to mix up, I just kind of eyeball. I have some rough estimates. It is by volume a little bit, but so I just thought I'd show you. So the exact product that I use for my pouring medium I get from Ace Hardware <clears throat> or Echo Hardware depending on what part of the country you're in in the United States. It's the Clark Kensington Paint and Primer in One. It's the Premium High Gloss Enamel Interior Exterior and it's the Neutral Base. Okay so that's what I'm using to um, for the main part of my um, pouring medium. And then with that, I mix in the Joe Sonia Gloss Varnish. Now, there's been quite a bit of trouble getting some of this. I think the company is overrun by requests for that. So I just thought I would mention that I also have used the Minwax Polycrinic Water-Based Clear Gloss, and it works fine. I prefer the Joe Sonia. It's a little tiny bit thicker than the Polycrinic, Polycrylic, I mean. And I just prefer this. But recently we've had some hard time getting a hold of it. So I was using this because I was in a pinch. Works just fine, really. Um, I think it's just a matter of personal preference, maybe what paints you're using, if they're on the thick side or the thin side. But so I'm today going to be mixing up the Clark Kensington that I get from Ace Hardware with the Joe Sonia Gloss Varnish. And then what I do is I mix up two batches. I have a big container, usually I'm using paints, so I mix up a lot more of a three to one ratio, where I will put in three times of this high gloss enamel to one part of the gloss varnish. Three to one for that. And that I use with any of my paints. Um, you know, I love the Joe Sonia paints. They're great, they're affordable, but I've used this, um, quite nicely with even like student grade paints like acrylics. Um, I will just mix that same exact pouring medium with, oh, here I'm just going to show you. The acrylics is just a student grade paint. I get like a whole thing of this might be like eight bucks and that's 16 ounces. So it's a really good value if you're just learning this process, acrylic pouring in general. It's a great way to learn with a nice quality, you know, nice uh, student grade quality paint. But I've also used Liquitec Basics, and that's a, a le even better quality than the Joe Sonia's, a little bit thicker. Um, this pouring medium, the three to one with the Ace Clark Kensington to Joe Sonia, works great with all of these paints. Um, it's worked great with any paint that I've used, actually. It just depends on, I think, how you add that pouring medium to your paint. So I think it'll work with any. I've also tried it with transparent, semi-transparent, opaques, and I get good results. 
with this pouring medium though like especially with the big blick acrylics like the um more student grade not as highly pigmented i will su um supplement the paint sometimes with maybe some kind of a nice mica powder pigment so i love the color art primary elements i haven't had good success using them by themselves just with oops with just the pigment um and the pouring medium but when you add some of this like if i was going to do a blue violet i might add some blue by you just a little dip in that or the aqua, I might add some of the teal zircon. Something that's similar in color that will add a little bit of punch, add a little more pigment, add a little sparkle, a little shine. So that's what I do for that. Now, um, for those paints, and I add pigments to that, it's three to one. For some of my thinner paints, I use a four to one ratio. So four parts of the Clark Kensington, um, paint from Ace to one part of the Joe Sonia. And that is just a little bit thicker than the uh, pouring medium I use for the paints. Um, some of the things I will mix with that, I, if I use this um, by counterculture, I use some of, these are resin dyes actually. So this is a liquid intense color. It's really just drops. It's a liquid form and I might, add some of this pouring medium and put maybe three drops of this in it. So I don't want to add too much of anything that's too thin or it's going to really thin it out. But that or their dispersion colors I use, these are by counterculture and their resin dyes. That's what I would use with this. Or if I just want to use like some interference colors, like a straight pigment, I would mix that. The Pearly X Interference Blue is one of my favorites. I love all those interference colors, but I would mix that with a Joe Sonia pigment four to one. Uh, CK to Joe Sonia 4 to 1. Um, uh, also, the high flow or the fluid acrylics from Golden, anything like that that's a really thinner consistency, I do the 4 to 1 ratio um, pouring medium. So, today I'm just going to mix up. I've already got some in here, but you see, I mix this in pretty large batches, and it will keep for a long time. You may get some clumps in it, which if you wanted to put like a stocking over the top here, um, right here, you could put like a pantyhose there to strain it, um, you could. But I will keep this for quite some time. So what I'm going to do, I already have some in here, so I'm just going to set my... Uh, scale to zero with that on it and let's get this open and I just want you to know full disclosure I am NOT a neat painter at all I have to wear gloves to even just mix up paint <laughs> okay because I just seem to make a mess no matter where I go I don't seem to be able to help myself so I have some in here this is a pretty big container I think I'm going to start with let's say six ounces because I'm going to do this by weight of this I'm going to get it started pouring Put it back down on there. I'm at four, five and three eighths, five and a quarter, six and a quarter, close enough. I'm gonna just dump that back in there. So I'll show you the consistency of this. It's pretty great. Um, it's kind of got a bluish tint to it. I don't know. Oh. Just move this over it's kind of got a bluish tint and it's got this beautiful creamy consistency this is the Clark Kensington and um, I really like it it is nice and neutral and nice and transparent so it doesn't color over any of your other colors if there was something that was too bright white it's going to really change the colors and this does sometimes change the colors of the paints you put in but for the most part it keeps them pretty true to their real color. Just wanted to show you that, how it looks real quick. So that's what I looked for. I tried to find something that seemed pretty comparable to the, I think Shelly or Shelly uses the Taubman's something or other, which you can't get here in the States. So I looked around until I found one that I thought looked very similar to hers. Kind of that bluish tint, kind of the creamy thick texture. Okay. So here I have my six and a quarter ounces here. I'm not going to get too crazy over the 
a quarter is two eighths if so. I'm going to reset this to zero. And basically what I want to do, it's three to one. So I've got six ounces of my Clark Kensington. So I want two ounces of my Joe Sonia. I'm going to reset this to zero. And I'm going to just pour that right in. So that is a nice little bit thicker than the Minwax. And going by weight, I'm on like one and one eighth. You probably can't see that scale because it's got paint all over it, I tell you. But there's my two ounces. And I can just do a tiny little drop if I wanted to make up for the fact that I went over by a little bit. That's it. That's all that goes in my pouring medium. I'm going to put the lid back on. Oops, just try and put the lid back on. There we go. So I was saying, I'm not a neat painter. I probably had to scrub these two bottles <laughs> for like 15 minutes <laughs> to try and make them somewhat presentable to you. I'm going to make sure that that lid's on real good. Oh, I got a little bit spooched out there. And hold it on and just shake it up. And each time before I use this, if I'm going to mix some paint with it, I shake it up good then too. I'm not too worried about air bubbles or anything like that. But I think just shaking it like this, maybe shake it the other way now. I've got it. It's pretty good. And this is going to last me quite some time. And that's for my paint. And I just very clearly like to label this one's for my paint. And this one's for my pigment. I definitely use my paint more, so that's why it's in the bigger bottle. And I actually have a lot of this. So I'm not going to mix up too much because I already have some. But I will mix up a little. Uh, I'll probably just add one ounce of the Clark Kensington and do like a quarter ounce of the Joe Sonia. Um, but I at least wanted to show you what I do. So I'm going to reset my scale to zero. By the way, before I mixed, before I poured this in, I did shake this quite thoroughly. Um, I have them shake it in the store when I buy it, but you know, I mean, I was gone. I've been gone. I haven't mixed up any paint for a while, so I made sure to shake it real good before mixing up my pouring medium. So all I really want now is one ounce of this because I've got a pretty full bottle. But just to show you, I'm doing it by weight and not volume. So there's three fourths of an ounce. There's one ounce. Okay. And I'm just going to waste not, want not. I'm going to try and scrape some of this back into my bottle here or my can. Okay. And this is not a very exciting video, but I want to try and really give you some of the instructions on what I do to create my art. And you can take it as a launching point, maybe, for experimenting on your own. Let's put the lid back on that, store it real good. And again, because these will last for quite some time, you could put a pantyhose right over this. I do that with my Floetrol to keep any lumps out if you start noticing that. I don't normally notice a problem, and I'm just going to shake it real good. Oh, wait, I didn't add my... Uh, Joe Sonia yet. Oh my goodness. So I put one ounce of that. Turn this back on. Set it to zero, which I did. And now I just need, actually just need a quarter ounce of this. So I'm going to put my Joe Sonia in. That's one eighth. One quarter. That's it. That's all that I need. Four to one. So I'm really trying to, that's a little bit thicker than this um, for my paints. And then now we can shake it up. And as long as you keep this, you know, the lid screwed on real tight and these tops and caps on them real good, it should last you for quite some time. I'm talking months. Okay. My cell activator, I mix up in much smaller batches um, because I try to just mix up what I need for that project or just what I can use in the next couple days. So that's it.
That's how I mix up my pouring medium. That's all that I'm going to show you for now. And I will come back and do another video on how I mix up my cell activator and then how I make my paints out of these. And we'll do a painting. And I will show you how that works. But I just a little at a time. Those are the products that I use. And the ratios that I use, I mix them up by, again, weight and not volume. Um... And cell activator is volume and not weight. So I'm not going to weigh it. Uh, unless I use the U.S. Floetrol. So I'll show you how I mix up both cell activators. The Australian Floetrol, if you can get your hands on that, it is great. But I also have a pretty good recipe for a U.S. Floetrol. And I actually do volume. I actually do that by weight. So I'll show you how to do those in the next video. All right? I hope you had fun watching this. These are pretty easy to find at any Ace Hardware. Um, it's the high glass enamel, uh, neutral base. It's the interior exterior. Hopefully you can just see that real well. Um, you know what? Just for kicks and giggles. Let's bring this down so it's really underneath this light well. Light so you can see it well. It's the Clark and Kensington paint and primer in one. It's the interior, exterior, high glass enamel, and it's the neutral base. That is what I use for my pouring medium. I use that with the Joe Sonia gloss varnish. They have a couple different. They have a matte and a semi-gloss or a satin, I think. Um, if you can't find that, I have found that the um, Minwax works very well also. I do the same ratios. Um, with that, but I just find this is a little bit thinner than the Joe Sonia, and I kind of like those results better for the time kind of paints I use. For any paint mixtures, if I'm going to add paint or paint plus pigments, I use the three to one ratio, which I weigh out on my scale. And for any pigments or high flow or kind of liquid dyes, I use a four to one. Um, Clark Kensington to Joe Sonia for all my pigments. And I just mix them up and I clearly label, oh, this one I use for my paint, this one I use for my pigments, um, so I don't forget. And then that's it. So I will see you all later and we'll mix up some cell activator, both some Aussie Floetrol and some US Floetrol. Okay? All right. Until later, have fun painting, everyone. Bye now.